Hi, good evening to you. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, okay, so okay, just for a while, I have to share the presentation you. How are you, Ju? Yes, I'm good, teacher. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good, too. Okay, I okay. hope you can see the presentation, you. Can you see it? Okay. This one, can you see it or you can't? Not yet. Ah, can. okay. Cannot. So, yeah. yeah, it's there. Okay, what about this time now? Can you see it? Okay, I can yes. see it. Yes, okay. So, uh, we have a new lesson due about uh, Unit 12 and it's all about schools of thought. Okay, now, yes. yeah, when we say schools of thought, what do you think would be is this one, Jew, before we have to move on? School of thought. Uh, oh, I think at the, so the maybe we at the school. Uh, so maybe we have to say that, uh, uh, is there any schools or are there any schools of thought, right? Yes. So are, are uh, in this particular schools are... Um, are uh, teaching on how to teaching. think, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so is that what we are thinking, right? So yeah. later on, we're going to understand what is this schools of thought. Now, the objectives of our lesson due is voc or vocabulary. We will be going to understand education vocabulary, right? And then yeah. for the skills, we're going to talk about an obligations. Okay, yes. so without further ado, let's try to have this one, Ju. So, yes. vocabulary, discuss the subjects in the box. Which were you good at, not good at, when you were at school? And then which are you interested in now? Yeah. Yeah, when you were, when you were a student, Ju, um, what do you think would be uh, subjects that you are good at and the subjects that you are not good at. Yes, I uh, I was good at uh, good at math, science, yes. uh, languages. Mm. Yes, the mm -hmm. late, uh, late, literature. Uh, literature. Literature. I, I don't yeah. I don't understand the meaning of it. Okay, when we say literature, it's a uh, it's a branch of English actually. Okay, where in, yeah, it's it's also English when so it's a literature, it deals yeah. um, uh, uh, on studying about about uh, um, about books, writings. So yeah. that would be literature. So are you yeah. also good at that? Yes, okay. I oh. am not uh, I am not good at uh, uh, I I wasn't good at history, art, <gasps> IT. Yes, okay. So, uh, therefore, I could conclude or I could say to you that um, that's why you became an engineer because literally you are good when it comes to math, okay? Yeah. You are yes. good when it comes to solving or solution, okay? Yeah. So, that's why you became an engineer. And as well as science, you, you said you're good too with that, right? Uh, yes. Languages too. And then maybe literature and art, but you're not good when it comes to history and to information IT, technology. Yes, and art. Yeah. art. And art, okay. History, yeah. IT, and art. So yes, that's right. yeah, so these are the, the subjects that you are not good at. Now, we can also say that um, your profession as an engineer is also suited with the with the subjects that you are good at, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just like me, I became a teacher because I don't like math. <laughs> mm. I don't yeah. like math. And uh, I like science. I like history. I like literature. I don't like art. Okay, I yeah. like languages. I don't like also IT. Okay? So yeah. every, every person has their own um uh, what is one favorite subjects and uh subjects that they are good at and subjects that they are not good at okay let's move okay. on now let's try to complete the phrases with the verbs in the box yes and you 
Let's say, for example, art, music, a foreign language, online. So what do you think would be this one? Uh, 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 study, study, yes. art, uh, music. Very good. Uh, so that the is foreign language that's online. Correct. Yes, so that yes. is study. Okay, so study, the yeah. correct verb for that is study. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next is play. Okay, yes, because when we say sports, when we say game, uh, a musical instrument, so you are going to play with that. Okay, good. So the next one is play. Next, when we are talking about mistakes, friends. Make, make this day, make friends. Okay, make. so make friends or make mistakes. Okay. And when we say test. Uh, do... Uh, Take. Do tell test. Yes, okay. So we may say do or take a test, right? So take yeah. a test, okay, or do a test, or do an exams, or take an exams. So do or take. Okay, correct. Then yes. after that, when you say performance. Uh Uh, give uh, a performance. Okay, give a performance. Correct. So, give a performance. And last but not the least, when we're talking about uniform, of course. Yeah. Yeah, we need to wear a school uniform. So that would be the correct verb for that. Okay, good job, Ju. Now, if we try to use them in a sentence, let's say, for example, Ju, study art music. So how are we going to use this in a particular sentence? Uh, uh, when I, uh, uh, when I, uh, people, uh, I don't like study uh, art. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like study art. Okay, so I I I I didn't or I don't like to study yeah. arts. Okay, art, or yeah. music, or you may say or music. Yes, I don't like studying music or music. art. Right. Okay. Yes. What about if we try to use this in a sentence? Yeah. So how are we going to say that? Uh. My uh, my kids on uh, my kick my kids on ways I uh, says me and he want to uh, play play sport at uh, on the weekends. Okay, so my kids okay wanted to play sports in the yeah. weekend. Okay. Yes. Next. Uh. What about mis make mistakes? Make friends. Yes, uh, when you meet uh, when you meet a new new people, you should make the make friend with them. That's correct. So when you make um when you meet people, you are going to make friends with them. Correct. Next, yeah. do or take uh, the test. Uh, at the end of the course, you must uh, you must do the test. Yes, correct. You must do or take a test. Okay. Yes. Then give a performance. Uh, uh, if you uh, give uh, your boss uh, a good performance, uh, your salary will, will be increased in the that's, next uh, That's time. correct. Okay. And then wear a school uniform. Yes. Uh, every uh, every pe people must wear a school uniform. Okay. Or we can say uh, every student must wear 
a school yes. uniform. Okay? Yes. Good okay. job. Okay, Ju, next, let's move on. Now, for the discussion part in here, Ju, which activities above did you usually do at school when you were in school? Yes. Um, where are where are uniform where are school uniform? Uh, ah. Do a test. Uh, make friends. Play sport. And study a foreign language. Okay, correct. So all of those. So you were able to do that one, right? Yeah. Now, did you right. enjoy doing them? Yes. Uh, almost. Uh, almost of them, but uh, one sub subject I don't like. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so what was the best thing that you did at school? Um, as you can um, still remember that one. So what was the best thing that you did at school? Yes, I, did, I, I think the best thing I can do, uh, I, uh, I think uh, at the school, at school? is, uh, is studying uh, uh, a foreign language. Ah, okay. What particular foreign language was that? Uh, English. Ah, okay. So you are also the best for that. Okay. So yeah. uh, uh, you consider that one the best thing that you did at school because you were able to learn them, right? Okay, yes, good. that's right. Okay, good job. Okay, next for the reading activity in here, do read the text, much paragraphs one to three with the topics A to C. So these are the topics, right? A to C. So what do you think would be this particular text? Okay. So that does mean I, I, I read the, the text? Yes. Okay. No, you just have to understand this particular text. And then after yeah. that one, choose which among the paragraphs in here that best Fit, uh, fits with this particular text. Is okay. it, yeah, is it, it, it talks about very young children learn to play the violin? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, that's me. I read the, the paragraph in my mind. Okay, sure, sure, sure. You can read that. Yes. Uh, number B. Okay, correct. So, why is it it's letter B, you? Can you give uh, me your understanding of that? Yes, uh, there are school in uh, in Hampshire, UK. Yes. Uh, they can offer the twenty four hours their teaching at okay. the night. Uh, uh, from uh, the school is uh, open from uh, seven a.m. to ten p.m. Yes. And uh, after that, in the night, they uh, they will be online, uh, the online yes. teaching through the night. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, yes. And then. And uh, you can study uh, for three hundred sixty-four days okay. a year. Yes. Okay. Uh, and because after uh, that. They they believe that they they believe uh, if the children are poor, they uh, will not come to school like that. Yeah, actually, um, this twenty-four hour teaching uh, in uh, in the United Kingdom actually uh, that would be letter B because this school uh, where children can study at night, right? If yeah. those children wanted to go to school in the morning, they can. 
And yes. those students that don't want to go to school, they can uh, they can uh, take their classes online. Add yes, it's uh, it's a real, it's real or, or or not real. It's ah. not it's true or not true. Ah, uh, actually, maybe this one is true because it oh. happens in Hampshire, Hampshire uh, in the United Kingdom, right? Yeah. So now, if you try to talk about that one, um, uh, Jew, in Vietnam, do you have this kind of setup already? No. Ah, okay. Same here in the Philippines, actually. Uh, although we offer homeschool, homeschooling. I don't know if you are familiar with homeschooling. Homeschooling does mean the, the, the teacher will be come to the school to teach yes. the children. No, that the 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 teacher will come to the house of the children and then the yes. teacher will going to teach there. This one on means one. that it's over, over time. No, actually a teacher in a homeschooling doesn't have doesn't uh, or or don't teach don't teach in school. So they're 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 just teaching home. Uh, at home of the children. Who paid the money? Who paid the, 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 the fee? Um, because we have here a company that offers that one. Yes, that's yes. mean the government? Or, or uh, the, no, or the... it's a private, private owned company. So let's say, for example, if you wanted to put up a company like that, uh, that let's say the title is homeschool, okay, homeschool for children. So they were uh, going to, to uh, hire teachers for that. And uh, let's say, for example, one teacher is five students. So uh, that five students, the teacher will going go to go to their houses and teach yeah. them. So that oh, would really? be the style of homeschooling. What about oh. in Vietnam? Do you do you don't no, have that one yet? Ah, not okay. uh, in Vietnam. Not uh, not have that style. Oh, okay. But in the Philippines, we don't have this one. The so-called twenty-four hour teaching. So we, mm. still, we we don't have this one, okay? Oh, so yeah. we all know this one already, right? Okay, yeah. let's let's move on. Oh, what about this one? Learn by listening. Learn by listening. Yes. Number C. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, actually, there is a school in United Kingdom also, a uh, Jew, that school, this kind of school where children don't do exams. Okay. Yes, so they, they, they don't do exams, but instead uh, they are um, given uh, creativity lessons, right? Like, for example, yeah. Uh, they could study art, music, gardening, as well as science and history. But the school didn't give an exam. Okay? So this right. school is what we call thinner schools. Okay? Yes. And uh, look at this. The teachers can't use textbooks. So the teachers don't use textbooks. Yes. <laughs> because they just, oh. yeah, they but, just uh, talk to the children. Uh, yeah. Uh, after graduating, that mean after graduating, the the two the student cannot uh, write. Ah, uh, they they have also maybe time for that to do that, right? But these are all uh, little children yet, okay? Yeah. Maybe yeah. these are just only four, five, six. But maybe after when we say grade one or level one or in the first grade, 
So they will be given different lessons also because they need to write because if if you will not going to teach them how to write, so what would happen to them, right? Yes, that's how right. To write, right? Okay. Uh, maybe this one is for little children. Okay. So that would okay. be letter C. Do you have the same? Do you have also the same? No. Uh, ah, education. Same here in the Philippines. We don't have this one. Okay. Next. Number. Letter number three. Ah, uh, obviously. The correct answer is letter A, right? Yeah. Yes, because when you say starting young, a very young children learn to play the violin. So in this particular um, particular method, okay, wherein yeah. they uh, this particular school teaches students to do the Suzuki method. Yeah. Okay, that has to start as young as possible, as young as two-year-old children. And uh, two-year-old children can learn to play difficult pieces of a classical music. Wow. <laughs> so that yeah. would be yeah, uh, doing uh, maybe a violin, right? Then uh, often on the violin. So they do this by watching and listening. So they learn yeah. by copying just like they learn their mother tongue. So the, ch the child has to join in, but doesn't have to get it right. So they soon yeah. learn that they must, they mustn't stop every time they make a mistake. Ah, so they just carry on, said one Suzuki trainer. So the children have to practice for hours every day, and they give performances once a week. So they learn quickly. So the parents must be involved too said the trainer or it just doesn't work so that means it's just purely by um, by just only observing you so the children can learn that one by just observing after they yeah. observe they will going to do that one they will going to uh what is one they will just going to um to learn that one by their own Right? Yes. So no one was going like, to teach them. So they, they can will learn by the yes. watching and listening. Yes. Okay. So that's yes. it. Okay. So uh, these are actually different uh, scenarios. Okay. Yes. That uh, uh, in learning. Okay. In learning. Yes. Different okay. way. In, yeah. Uh, different learning. ways on how to learn uh, in school, yes. actually. Right. But uh, here in the Philippines, we we still don't have this one. Yeah. Uh, we have we have trainings. Let's say, for example, if you wanted to your child to learn violin, so you can go to a violin uh, school center. Yeah. Center, yeah, it's just only a center, right? Same with the with the same in Vietnam, right? You have also center. Yes, for Vietnam. Ah, uh, okay. But we don't have school yet for this one. Yes, that's right. Don't have school. Yes. Okay, so let's continue. Now, let's try to listen and repeat the sentences below. Okay, do. Okay, for a while. Okay. Unit 4. Recording 4. 1. They don't have to wear a uniform. Two. They, they don't have to wait for the school bus. Three. You can choose which subjects you want to study. Four. You have to work hard. You must work hard. Five. But you can choose to work when you feel like it. Six. You have to be at school at 8.30 a.m. You must be at school at 8.30 a.m. 7. You mustn't wear trainers. You can't wear trainers. 8. You mustn't use your mobile phone in class. You can't use your mobile phone in class. 9. Some people think that children who study at home can't go to the exams and get the same qualifications. 10. But they can 
and they do. Okay. So let's try to repeat the sentences again. Do uh, repeat after me, okay? They don't have to wear a uniform. They don't have to wear a uniform. Very good. They don't have to wait for the school bus. They don't have to wait for the school bus. Good. You can choose which subjects you want to study. You can choose which subjects you want to study. Very good. You have to work hard. You must work hard. You have to work hard. You must work hard. Good, but you can choose to work when you feel like it. But you can choose a work when you feel like it. Good, you have to be at school at 8.30 a.m. You must be at school at 8.30 a.m. You must, uh, you have to be at school at 8.30 a.m. You must be at school at 8.30 a.m. Correct. You mustn't wear trainers. You can wear trainers. You mustn't wear, you mustn't wear trainers. You can't wear trainers. trainers. Yes, you mustn't use your mobile phone in class. You can use your mobile phone in class. You mustn't use your mobile phone in class. You cannot, you can't uh, use your mobile phone in class. Correct. Some people think that children who study at home can go to the exams and get the same qualifications. Some people think that children who study at home can't go to uh, the exams and get the same qualifications. Qualifications. Again, qualifications. You? That's correct. But they can and they do. But they can. They uh, and they do. Very good. Okay. So uh, actually you were able to read them correctly too. So you were able to emphasize also the, the intonation. So you use the proper intonation and blending also. Good job yeah. too. Okay. Okay. And next we will going to have a free talk all about this one. Jiu. Do you think homeschooling is a good idea? Why or why not? Oh, homeschooling. So yeah. we have that one here in the Philippines. Do you, yeah. Now, uh, since you don't have that in Vietnam, let's try to have um, an understanding on your own, on your own understanding or point of view, Jew. Do you think homeschooling is a good idea? Oh, according to me. Yes. According to me, I I think uh, homeschooling is not a good idea okay, because uh, because you know at uh, at at uh, as the homeschooling mm -hmm. you cannot have uh, enough the equipment or the space for the children to uh, play or to yes. uh, relax uh, Explore, after the, right yes after after the, the after the teaching after the study. Yeah. yeah. And and do you don't have enough equipment for them to test or to to That's to make the, the science test light up? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Actually, yeah. um, yeah, those are the two reasons, uh, acceptable reasons, why homeschooling is not a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else aside from that? Do you think? Yeah. First, you said that uh, homeschooling doesn't give uh, the children or a child to uh, to be exposed to explore after 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 school, right? Yeah. On, yeah. And the second one, um, the the child cannot use facilities, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, what else? And I, I, I think the, I, I, I don't know the style of uh, homes, uh, homeschooling. Uh, uh, that's mean because the uh, study in many subjects, and that's mean there are many teacher or just one teacher. Actually, there are many, many teachers because let's say yeah. for example, if they have let's say thirty students, uh, of course, 
uh, 30 students are 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 big big uh, big groups already so they were yeah. going to to uh what is one they were going to a lot per teacher yeah. let's say five five per teachers right because maybe yes. one teacher uh, will going to uh, to go to the house of this particular student teaching him maybe five five hours right Mm. Okay, so and uh, how about the uh, after study uh, after graduating, the social will be approved them. Come again after the after graduating, the social the that's that's mean the factory the university like that approve them. Ah, accept okay, them. yes, uh, because before they have to put up a homeschooling school. Okay, they will need to follow. They were going to um, ask for a uh, certification that they are that they are um, what is one? They are allowed. Attend. Yes. Yes. Uh, to authenticate their school, their their homeschooling, so that the child can also move to the higher level. Yeah. Let's say for example, if that child starts in grade one, so he will going also to be promoted in the grade two, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so they have also their their own uh, their own criteria also to to be followed. Okay, that's yeah. why the Department of Education here in the Philippines approved that one because the there would also be um, they have seen also the objectives of homeschooling because usually due students having a homeschooling those who are students uh, that have. Uh, problems like for example um, they have been uh, abandoned by the uh, family yeah yeah okay and then uh, uh, others are uh, maybe um, they were uh, let's say for example um, what is one um, having been uh, having been um, what is one uh, by their parents like for example uh, parents uh, keep on uh, inflicting um, this particular student, okay? Mm. Uh, keep on spanking, keep on kicking, maybe something like that. So there would be problems when it comes to that particular student. Or this student of a homeschooling is a student that is um, having a bad behavior in school. <laughs> That's why yeah. they just do a homeschooling. Yeah. Okay? So that would be it. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, thank you so much for your idea, uh, Joe. So if you do have still time tomorrow, we'll see each other. Ah, no. No. Uh, no we don't tomorrow have, is uh, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Okay. So we don't have class. So on Monday, Joe. Okay. So yes, thank okay. you so much for your time, Joe. See you again. Bye-bye. See you again, teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.